that the proper order of a woman to be a pastor? When you say you're a pastor, that means you lead a congregation, you lead a congregation of men and women. Is, is that according to the Bible? Bring it out. If you guys see it. Let's see, what the, let's see what the Bible says. Read. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. So the Bible says that the woman learn in silence with all subjection, meaning that the woman is subject to the men. Right. The men, we are the, we are the heads of the neighborhood, the community, the church. We supposed to be the head. We the ones that teach the people and teach the congregation, teach our families, all of that. It's, it comes, it starts with us. And then our women teach the children. Exactly, as a man. So the Lord is coming from the man, and she's teaching the man. Well, what's the, what, read it, read that. Let's read it. No, let's, let's, let's finish, because we want to know, because if we know, we know, we know God exists, right? How, does, how did God give us instruction and direction? Right here. The Bible is our instruction and direction. That's right, man. See, in the Bible, it says technically God is black, right? So let me so let me tell you this because you said you just said out the Bible that God is black. Where the hell does this come from? Okay, then. so that's not the Bible, right? Right. Well, let's read that. Get, get that Revelation one and fourteen. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse fourteen. His head and his hair were white like wool. And you already know this, but who got woolly hair on earth? We do. The so-called black man. What's your name, bro? Tay. Who got black? Who got? Who got woolly hair on earth? Us. Three. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his hair was white as woolly. This his hair was white and woolly. This particular Bible we read now was in 1769, because this is when they took out the Apocrypha from the Bible. Bring it out! The, the other one, the 16, this one, this is the Cambridge. This is based off the 1611 Bible. 1611, first another Bible. The other 1611 is an older English, where, where you look at it, it don't have the J's, it don't have the, um, the V's, the U's are V's and stuff like that, but it say the same exact thing as what's in this one. So it's not the Bible that changed, it's the people that presented us the Bible that taught us the wrong thing. Bring it out! That's what, that's what it is. Isaiah 29, 13. Uh-huh. But I'm saying, what, you, what you're saying, you're saying who, who you saying the people that write it and produce it, that they have control of the content. That's what you're saying. But the content, read. let's read that. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. What color is brass? What color is brass? It's brown. Because brass is brown. And it says, as if what? As if they burn in a furnace. As if it was burned in the furnace. If you burn anything, what happens? It turns black. So this is telling us that Jesus Christ was a very dark skinned man. That's right. Which proves this image, which you already know, to be a lie. And that, and this is a better depiction of them right here. So that lets you know that the, it's not the Bible that's tampered with, it's the people that's teaching the Bible. Give me Isaiah 29 and 13. It's the people that's teaching the Bible. Bring it out! And that's where the, that's where the, that's where the problem comes out. Which one? They're not though. But in the, in the Bible proves that to be false. So that's what I'm saying. It's not the Bible that's wrong, it's the people that's teaching it. And that's what we gotta come up, come out from under. And that's why we out there. Read that. Isaiah 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said. Wherefore, wherefore the Lord said. We all know you believe you believe in God. You believe in God. You said, Tay. What was the name again? Tony. Marcus. What's your name, bro? Huh? Sean. You said Sean. You believe in God? Okay, so read. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So it's for as much as this people draw me near me with their mouth. Because who fills the churches every Sunday on Sunday service? We do. And what are we doing in there? You go to a black church, what they're doing? Dancing, moving, hollering, dancing around the church, falling out, speaking in tongues, saying they love the Lord. You ask somebody, hey, how you doing today? Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. That's one of their favorite sayings. They love to say that stuff. 
So that's what he's saying. Read. And with their lips do honor me. He says, and with their lips they honor me. Meaning they, it's all lip service. They say, I love the Lord. But the minute we show them what the Bible tells them that they're supposed to be doing, they're like, oh, no, we ain't got to do that. Because in the, when you go into Christian church, they tell you that God's laws are done away with. Which is the very reason why we see the conditions of our community in the state that they're in. Because we think that we ain't got to keep God's command. Right. Breathe. But have removed their heart far from me. He said they removed their heart far from me. The heart is referring to your mind. It's not talking about the vessel in your heart, in your chest that pump blood. It's talking about your mind. He said they moved their mind far from me. Because you are, you know, anything you think, and you, you, you meditate on long enough, that's what you want to do. So whatever's on your mind, that's what you're going to apply. But read. And their fear towards me. He said their fear towards me. So the fear that we learned growing up, that we see our grandparents, our mothers, our fathers, the fear that they have towards God is taught by who? It's taught by the precept of men. By the precept of men. The so-called white men. That's where this image came from. That's why we, that's why, that's why black churches fill the community. You can, you can go, you go anywhere and it's a church on every block. Bring it out! The community behind the block look like crap. Look like that's right. Yeah, our people going to the church. They paying tithes every week. They paying they paying all the time and all this money to the church. But the church ain't dumping nothing into the community to provide better opportunities for the community. Exactly. You shouldn't go. That's a good thing. Right. That's a good thing. We ain't telling you to go to the church because it's good that you don't go. It's good that you you have that understanding that the church ain't where it's at. Right. It's a scam. Exactly. Because it's it's full of it's full of people that teach the precept of men and not the Bible. When we go back to uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9, 2 and 11, because what we showing, because like you said, you said your mother was a pastor, and that's and it's not just your mother, it's many churches that got women that's leading the congregation. That's out of order, because that's not the order that God set for. Read. 1 Timothy 2 verse 11, let the woman learn in silence, with uh -huh. all subjection. With all subjection, read. But I suffer not a woman to teach. So he said, I suffer not a woman to teach, read. Nor to usurp authority over the man. Nor to usurp authority over the man. So when a woman is set up as the pastor, you got past Williams, and it's a sister, she's taking you, she's usurping authority over the man. She's Bring it out! Position where she's usurping authority over the man. That's not supposed to be. That's Person right. Who's 11. What do we do? I'm gonna show you that. That's an excellent question. You said, "What do we do to, to deserve this? To deserve the slavery? To deserve the conditions that we're in?" I'm gonna go to that next. Read that. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the Bible says that the head of every man is Christ. How y'all doing, sisters? What's y'all name? Say it again. Camille, Nigel, Nigel, and Camille. Y'all believe in the Bible? Listen up, read that. Read that. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. So the authority, we get our instruction from Christ. And that, that, that's it's referring to the Bible. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. The man was set in authority over the woman. But you don't see that in our communities today. You got many families. Well, most of our families, you got big mom. And everybody goes to Big Ma to get instruction. That's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the father is supposed to be setting the tone, setting the vision, setting the uh, order of the household. But many of us have grandmothers, great grandmothers, and that's she the one that set the tone. That's not that's not right. That's not according to God. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So the divine order that the Most High God set up is the Most High God, Christ, men, women. And the women deal with the children when they little and raise up and when they get to a certain age, the man take the sons, the men take over and show them how to be men. But in the community today, how many single parent households we got where the mother is raising the young men? Too many and that's why. Because what, hap what, what happens when uh, most, of these, most of these young men get shot? What happens? Why is that happening? Emotional. Because and there's no no negative thing to women because y'all do the, our sisters do the best that they can, but a woman can't show a man how to be a man. Right. Because a man needs a father so he can a father can teach him how to manage his emotions. So when he get mad, he don't go off and just shoot the block up and everybody he got babies getting shot. That's what's going on because it's out of order. 
read that yet. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. For as my, for as my people, children are their oppressors. And read it again. Read it again. as for my people, children are their oppressors. So it says, as for my people. That my people is talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Israelites, according to the Bible. He says, my people, he said, children are their oppressors. Because when you look at the statistics, it's all, the, 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 how old are you, 40, what about you, 17, how old are you, 24, 21, so, sister, 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 40, so I'm 37, when I look at the, when I look at the, 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 the stats, so to say, I was in high school, what, that was what, 20 years ago, yeah. a lot of the young men that's terrorizing the streets, it's from the, the sisters that had babies in their teenage years during when I was in high school. Right. Like some of them are y'all age group. And it's like, okay, why was that? Because they had children when they was in their parents' household and they didn't even know how to raise children. So those children were, was raised by the music. Right. They was raised by the TV. Right. They wasn't given no instruction. Now that's why now they are the oppressors of the community. Read. As for my people, children are their oppressors, uh -huh. and women rule over them. And it says, and women rule over them. Women, the order is, the order has been switched up. Women are looked at as the head of the house. And that was done to us in slavery, believe it or not. It was done to us in slavery. The roles were reversed. Right. The houses were, were set out of order. Read. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to earth. We have been led by a wrong nation, a wrong nation of people that have deterred them, took us astray from what the Most High God designed for us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.